it's finally here. <laughs> Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Mary Grace and the Percy Jackson franchise is my Roman Empire. We are going to be watching the new Disney Plus original series of Percy Jackson and the Olympians, season one focusing on book one, The Lightning Thief. I'm so excited. I have been following the process of this show since it was announced. I actually was rereading the books when they announced it and I was like, oh my god, did I manifest this? I think I manifested this. <laughs> I'm so excited. I have been a fan of this franchise since I was 11. It's been almost 15 years since I first discovered Percy Jackson, uh, which is crazy because it feels like definitely not that long ago. <laughs> I've read all of the books in the entire universe. I have seen the movies. Look, the first one, okay, I'm gonna talk about the movies for a second. The first one, I loved, they were cast really well. I feel like they had great actors in the movies. It's just that the people who wrote those movies did not know anything about this book. They knew nothing. The first movie, I could forgive the changes they made because, you know, you got there in the end, right? You got the... The, the main point, like all of the, the big things were there, right? The first one I could forgive. The second one, the Percy Jackson Sea of Monsters movie, where did any of that come from? But this is one of the first franchises that I like really fell in love with as a reader. This is one of the first franchises that made me really fall in love with reading in general. It has held such a special place in my heart like I know it has for so many other people. And I'm so excited for this new adaptation, this show version, because it's not just about us, the long-term fans anymore. I'm so excited for the new generation of kids who get to experience this story through this show. You know, my nephew is about to turn 12. I can't wait to watch this show with him because I know he's gonna love it and he's not a reader. So this is a way that I can share this story with him. And I'm so excited for all of the kids who are going to be exposed to this version of the story first, because I know how hard like everyone has worked to keep it true to the books and to like really give it its due. And I can't wait. I'm so excited to watch this show. I'm so excited for all of the kids who will be able to see versions of themselves as heroes on screen. And uh, I'm just gonna say this once because I don't wanna give any attention to it, but uh, if you have any negative or hateful things to say about the casting of this TV show, don't leave it here because I will remove your comment. I'm so excited for this cast. I think our main trio is perfect and phenomenal and I can't wait to see their versions of these characters and um, yeah if you have anything negative to say don't leave it here this is a safe space for everyone and I will not tolerate any of that we're gonna get right into it and we are going to watch Percy Jackson and the Olympians season one episode one titled I accidentally vaporized my pre-algebra teacher I've even got my little snake back here and I've got my fish pillow. So we are prepared. <laughs> We're sticking to a theme. You might ask yourself, or you might ask me, Mary Grace, is that coffee in that mug because it's nine o'clock in the morning? No, it's not coffee. It's blue Gatorade. <laughs> because I'm sticking to a theme. Are we ready? Are we ready? I'm so excited, okay, play. Look, I didn't want to be a half blood. Being a half blood is Shut dangerous. Up. It's scary. Most of the time, it gets you killed in painful, nasty ways. I'm so excited. My name is Percy Jackson. Hi, Percy Jackson. Why are we on the roof? Percy, why are you on the roof? Back in second grade. Little baby Percy. I saw something. At least <gasps> I could have sworn I saw something. It's Blackjack. Hey, 
fellas want to come here about the imaginary stuff I see? I would. I'm sorry, in second grade? Then something changed. I met Grover. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Nancy Boba Fett. You can almost believe they were imaginary. Weird, but... <laughs> Not mythomagic! Shut up! I'm so excited. This is so good. What you see here are the truest and deepest parts of yourselves. Hmm. Perseus. Perseus! Is that why I named me after him? Because he was a hero? What makes you think he was a hero? Because he kills monsters. <gasps> not everyone who looks like a hero is a hero. And not everyone mm. who looks like a monster <gasps> is a monster. Oh my god, I love that. He and his mother were placed in a wooden chest and cast out into the sea. His mother would whisper in his ear, Hold fast, Perseus. Brave the storm that was made to break us, for we are unbreakable as long as we have each other. Am I gonna cry? Perhaps. Who's it? Mom? I'm right here, sweetie. Mommy's here. Nancy, go away. Mr. Jackson. You will learn to control yourself to understand me. Me? Do you understand me? He can't help it, Mrs. Dodds. Percy's special. That's enough. Yeah, roll over her toes. And you're ready to hear what the gods have in store for you? They'll tell you. I believe in you. And I believe you'll be needing this. Kyren! Hang on to that. It's a mighty instrument. The pet is mightier than the sword. The pet is the sword. That was such a beautiful flashback. I loved that. I get the Nancy's issues. I'm just getting tired of her taking them out on me. I feel like maybe it's time to do something about it. You could make an appointment to see Mr. Kane. He's really good at talking to I was thinking more you. like shoving Nancy in the nearest dumpster. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not the oh. Always <laughs> is that you should never, ever stand up to. Them. That doesn't sound right. He's so Grover. I love it. <laughs> Oops. Shove her in the fountain. <laughs> that was incredible. I loved it. Percy pushed me. Percy didn't lay a hand on you, babe. The water wanted you there. It was only a matter of time before we found you. Oh my god, she looks so sick. Where is it, half blood? Where is it? She looks insane! That's so cool. That was the coolest thing ever? I don't understand. Didn't anyone just see that? Where's Mrs. Dodds? Who? <laughs> they are gonna gaslight him. Don't you gatekeep gaslight girl boss him? <laughs> Mr. Jackson, a number of your classmates saw you and Mr. Underwood arguing with Miss Bobofit. Yet you have offered no explanation for how she ended up in that fountain. Other than, uh, I didn't touch Nancy. Facts. He did not. Mr. Underwood, do you have anything to add? Percy didn't touch Nancy. Percy had told me earlier in the day that he wanted to get back at Nancy for all she'd done to us. Grover? Grover! Grover, babe! So, Mr. Jackson, assault Miss Bobo Finn. <laughs> you throw the word assault around? She's the one who threw her sandwich at that. Yes. Grover! Babe, what are you doing? 
very concerned about you, Percy. I saw what happened at the museum. I didn't touch Nancy. I know you didn't. I've seen a lot of young people go through this sort of thing in my time. But of all of them, I suspect that you might have the most difficult journey. I suspect you are special. Hmm. Welcome home, genius. Is my mom home from work? Oh, is that all you got to say to me? Huh? Yeah, you suck. You went out of school? You fell out of school. The principal called, and that's what he said. He said you got kicked out. Kicked out and failed out, two different things. If you're gonna live under my roof, you gotta live by my rules. Your roof? This is not your roof, smelly Gabe. Stinky, stinky, smelly, gross man. I'm sorry, is she listening to Olivia Rodrigo in the rain? Mom. This is such a shared experience. <laughs> she is me, I am Sally Jackson. I found Gabe on the phone with the headmaster. He told me what he thinks happened with Nancy Bobo fit. I told him I believe my kid. It was a real short call. I had enough time to pick up your welcome home gift. Blue food. Sally Jackson, she's gorgeous. I love her. I want to be her. He told me about Grover. Yeah, what was that about? Grover, babe. Something has been happening to me. More than just my mind wandering and it got worse and I'm scared. I don't know how anyone expects me to get any work done. Percy and I are leaving for Montauk. Why exactly am I okay with this? Because on my way home on Sunday, I'm going to stop at D'Angelo's and pick up sandwiches in time for tip-off. But if you make this miserable, I'm going to go anyway, and then I'm going to eat my sandwich and yours while I listen to the game on the radio. <laughs> make sure they put the hot peppers on my sandwich. Please. Not if you're going to ask like that. I said please. She's iconic. I love her. God, I want to be her. <laughs> Sally Jackson is the first goddess we have seen. All right, we're on the beach. How did we get here? Is this still a flash forward or is this happening? Who are you? So weak, so scared, so sad. Run away, little hero, before you get hurt. Oh, it was a nightmare. It was a dream. <gasps> oh, they're both going through it. My God, I love them. I found the good marshmallows, ones that don't burn so easy. I don't think it was ever the marshmallows' fault. I wasn't paying attention. I love them. Look at this beautiful relationship they have. This is also so cute. I love this house. I'm used to the world feeling weird to me. Like a puzzle with half the wrong pieces. And then we're at the museum and you saw something. Something that felt real to you but no one else could see. I also really like the sweater Percy's wearing. It's definitely giving like fisherman vibes. What did she say? How did you know it was a she? Percy, you're about to get your entire world rocked. Do you know why we come to this cabin every year? Because it's near the septic tank, so it's cheap. Bum. How did you know about that thing I we saw? We come to this place every year because this is the place I met your father. A long time ago, I met a man here on the beach. He was wise and brave and kind. And probably really hot. He wasn't a man at all. He was a god. <laughs> Sorry, I feel like he's about to say some wise ass shit. You fell in love with God. <laughs> like, like, like Jesus? <laughs> like Jesus? 
gods and heroes and monsters, they are real. Mom. In those stories, I have told you about how gods and mortals would sometimes have Mom, children together, stop. children Mom. called demigods, and sometimes they are known as half-blood. And half-bloods are not safe in the world. Once they reach a certain age and they begin... Puberty? ...to understand what they are, terrible forces are drawn to them, driven to harm them before they can become strong enough to fight back. That is what you have been feeling. This is crazy, okay? I'm not a god. There is something wrong with my brain. Oh. I'm afraid something may be really broken. Oh, baby boy. I know there's no such thing as monsters. I know there's no such thing as gods. And I know for certain that there is no such thing as demigods. Look in the mirror, babe. Grow up! I asked how the night you said we could all leave in the morning. Sorry, I'm early, but I didn't have any choice. You should have asked me before you... Whatever it is you're going to say, I don't want to hear it. Grover. <laughs> Something's coming. Grover. I know, that sounds really bad. Grover. But the important thing is not to panic. The important thing is not to panic. Grover. Right? I'm also definitely not panicking. <laughs> I feel very good about how you Grover. What? Grover, why is there half a goat in your pants? Oh, it's... <laughs> You didn't tell him about me? You're early. She was getting to it, babe. Good boy! My favorite good boy! Your job has been to guide you to this moment. It's always an emotional roller coaster for a young demigod, so providing a support system is really. Who are you? I'm Grover. <laughs> what are you? A goat. Look at the little words. If I hadn't gotten you kicked out of school, you'd have never survived the night. I would chasing us now would have found you there easily. He's your protector. Something powerful is at work here. The sooner we get you to camp, the better off you're... You told him about camp, right? Not yet, no. Camp is a sanctuary for half-bloods. A safe space where you can learn who you are and what the world is like on the other side of the mist. Mom, what else haven't we talked about? Probably a lot. What else haven't you told Probably me? a lot. Is that the Minotaur? He is brutal. He is relentless. He's wearing underpants. Is he wearing the tiny whiteies? <laughs> Everything has been training for what's still ahead of you. What's ahead of me, boys? Yeah, I'm actually 24. I'm actually 24. Babe, I'm 25. Let's hang out. Let's chill. Yes. Oh my God. There's a horn in the car. Oh, it's on the steering wheel. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> that was insane. I love the goat legs. They look so good. Grover, Percy, how's mama? Her side got rocked by that minotaur. How's she doing? The fact that they're all totally fine is incredible. The little horns. <gasps> it's the boundary. Sorry, I saw the tree. Grover, I am entrusting you to protect my son, my only child. Don't worry, Mrs. Jackson. Percy will be totally safe. I can't swear it. What's happening? Swear it, Grover. Keep him safe from anyone or anything that comes for him that wants to do harm, that looks at him the wrong way. Do you understand me? I swear. I want to be Sally Jackson when I grow up. I love her so much. I gotta go now, sweetheart. Go? Babe, how? Your car. Where are you going? You're gonna need to be brave now. Remember what I taught you. Remember the stories I told you, especially the stories they will no, tell you. No way, Mom, no. I'm not leaving you. Perseus. Not the full name. You are not broken you are singular you're a miracle <sighs> and you are my son hold fast brave the storm 
Oh my god, she's iconic. She's everything. Percy, you kill that Minotaur. Your coat. Why? What are you gonna do? He smells half blood. That's what he's tracking, yeah? That's right. So if he smells you in two directions at once, maybe I can confuse him, buy us both a little time to get away. Mom, please, don't. Hey. It'll be okay. Ooh, he's a big boy. He's a big boy. I'm like holding my hands like this. I'm so, I'm so nervous. And it being red, shut up. That's so perfect. Ooh. <gasps> I was not expecting it to look like that. Is he gonna charge? Is he gonna go? That's what I would do. Rip died! That looks so cool. Are you kidding me? Get him! There's no music, it's so intense, oh my gosh. Get the horde, get the horde! That is so cool. Straight through the skull? That was sick. Oh my god. He must be the one. Hush, Annabeth. He's waiting, everyone. Give him some space, please. Welcome to camp, Percy Jackson. We've been expecting you. <sighs> so good. So good. Oh. My. Gods. I mean. That was kind of a perfect first episode. Right? Like, it gave us all of the background we needed. It gave us all of the background, like, that we get in the first chapter of the book. And it gave us all of the action, and it got us to camp. I mean, it's kind of a perfect first episode. I'm so excited. Sally Jackson is a goddess, and I love her. She's everything I want to be and more. That first moment of her listening to Olivia Rodrigo in the rain, you know she's down bad thinking about Poseidon. Same. Girl, we are one in the same. I mean, Walker is Percy. It's just, like, he's got the voice. Like, he's got that Percy voice, you know. He's got the, I, I'm so excited to see what he does the rest of the season. We got one little line from Leah as Annabeth. Can't wait to see her next episode. And Arian, he's Grover. He's Grover. It's perfect. I am so excited for our trio. I'm so excited to meet the other characters next episode. I, it's so good. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's so exciting. It's so, it's so good. I, like, truly, my heart is so happy. I am so happy, like, for them, like, who get, for all of the, like, the actors and the talented young actors that are in this show who are going to just flourish and become household names. Like, I'm so excited for all of them. I'm so excited for all of the new fans of the show, of the series, of the story, of everything, getting to experience this because it's so good. It's so good. I love it. I'm so excited. I 
had such a fun time watching this first episode of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. I hope you guys had fun watching it along with me, freaking out along with me. <laughs> I cannot wait to watch more. Please stick around, subscribe down below if you want to make sure you're here when I post episode two, which will be coming soon. And then we're gonna get right into it and we're gonna do weekly Percy Jackson episodes as they drop on Disney+. Plus. I'm so excited. I can't wait to go on this wild journey, this quest along with all of you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys had a fun time. I had a fun time. If you want to follow me, all my social medias are in the description, as always. And I will see you very soon with more Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Bye!